Okay, that was my mistake. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Um, I'm sure you're, it's, it's probably in the comments of the previous video already, and that's okay. Uh, so I made a mistake right here. This is actually going to be the natural log of P1 over P2 over the natural log of V2 over V1. When you solve this expression for N up here, right, this goes to the bottom of that one. And so I've got the, the natural log of the keys and the natural log of these. So this thing is going to get just simply inverted. All right. So that's, that's this. These need to switch. So do the inverse, do the inverse. So just invert this expression here. Minus, go back to blue. I'm getting about minus 1.97. Okay. So I'm saying n is equal to minus 1.97. All right. Now, again, I don't know if that's a realistic situation we could encounter. Um, it's just an example problem for right now. Now, think about what we've got to do with this. So what I've got to do now is I've got to integrate. Again, we're looking for the boundary work. The boundary work is going to be, again, the integral from... Uh, and let's use the, the mass form. So let's say boundary work out is going to equal mass times the integral of pressure with respect to specific volume from little v1 to little v2. Okay. Now we know Yeah, let's do the other form. <laughs> there we could do that form. Let's do the other form. Let's use the total volume form. We could make it work either way. All right. So let's not get too lost in the weeds here. So how do we do this? Well, again, I know pressure. Pressure is going to equal this constant C. So I'm going to integrate this constant C, V, to the minus N dV from V1 to V2. Okay? So how does this N help us? Well, it tells us this value. I still need this value. So I'm going to integrate, so the, the constant's going to come out, and I'm going to integrate V to this power N. Well, so it's going to be minus a negative 1.97, so it's basically minus a 1.97. Now, what I might suggest to you, if you guys are okay with it, Let's make this a little easier on ourselves, and let's say this is about minus 2. Now, if, if I had time, if this is like a homework problem, maybe we don't do that. But because it's just an example I'm trying to work out in lecture and try to keep this straightforward and simple, let's just say it's about minus 2, if you guys are okay with that. If you want to work it out at minus 1.97, you can integrate v to the minus 1.9, or v to the positive 1.97. It can be done. It's not hard. Let's just keep it easy if you guys are okay with that. Let's call it minus 2. All right. <clears throat> Let's keep rocking along. So what else do we need to do? Well, I know N now. I can find the volumes. I need to know C. And again, if we go back to the very beginning, by definition of polytropic, P1 V1 to the power N is equal to C. Okay, so this is um, pressure. So at state 1, it's 2 megapascals times, and let's put this in brackets, right, so the mass is going to be 0 0.3 kilograms. The specific volume at state 1 is 0 0.24674, that is meters cubed per kilogram, okay. Why am I doing that? Well, because this is volume. Volume is the specific volume times the mass. That the product of those two is going to get raised to the, we said, the minus 2. And that's going to give us a value for C. Okay. So let's do that. <clears throat> Point 0.3 times 0.24674 equals. And then raise that to, let's see, raise that to uh, minus 2. Or square and invert. Either way it works. And then multiply that by 2. That gives us C. So C, I'm getting about 365. Um, and the units are going to be kind of weird. The megapascal stays. 
Okay, now the kilograms, they go away. So I've got meters cubed to the minus 2. So that's going to be per meters to the 6. Steve, what the heck is meters to the 6? Meters to the minus 6. And it's, it's per meters to the 6 or meters to the minus 6. Steve, what the heck does that represent? It, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't really matter what it represents. It's just a constant value. These are the units that constant value needs to keep in order for this to work out mathematically. It doesn't necessarily represent any physical quantity we could touch, unless you can think in six dimensions. I can't. Uh, if you can, awesome. Good for you. All right, so again, what the heck are we trying to do? Well, I know now N is minus 2, and I know now the C value. I can find these two volumes, okay? Um, so if you like, let's just find those. Let's actually put a number on those. 0 0.3 kilograms times 0 0.24674 meters cubed per kilogram, okay? Which we did earlier, and I should have wrote it down. Okay, that's okay. 0.24674. Seven four times point three. That is zero point zero seven four zero oh two two. That is meters cubed. That's V one. V two is going to be this one point two two zero oh two nine multiplied by point three. So by the same logic, total volume two is going to be zero point zero six six zero oh eight seven meters cubed. Okay, I've got both volumes. So now it's here we are. Now it's just some calculus. Okay. The engineering work's done. Now it's just some calculus. Uh, it's going to be the integral uh, from V1 to V2 of C V to the minus N dV. I'm going to pull C out. All right. So I'm going to integrate V to the minus N. That's going to be minus a negative 2. We said we're going to approximate n is a negative 2. That's from v1 to v2. So minus a negative 2 becomes a positive 2. So this is v squared. The integral of v squared is v cubed over 3. This is c over 3 times v2 cubed minus v1 cubed. Okay? I've got c. I've got my volumes. Now we just need to finish this out. So the boundary work out is going to equal, you could write it out here, that's 365 megapascals meters per meter to the six, multiplied by, uh, what do we got here? We've got um, 0 0.066087. I'm going to cube that. I'm going to factor the units out. We'll put the units out one time. Um, minus 0 0.074022. That's going to get cubed. We'll pull the units out. Both of them are meters cubed. Uh, that's meters cubed, and that gets cubed, so that's going to be meters to the ninth. Okay. So this is my V2. We'll just cube him. So I've got a cube button there. Minus 0 0.0740. Two, two and that's going to get cubed equals okay so that's my inside my parentheses there and multiply by 365 so you get a quantity there the boundary work out is equal to zero to be minus 0 0.0427 we'll say the units there are going to be megapascals times meters to the ninth divided by meters to the sixth. That's megapascals meters cubed. A pascal meters cubed, we talked about last time, is a joule. You can work that out. A pascal meter cubed is a joule. So this is megajoules. All right. So about 42 kilojoules. One, two, three. About 43 kilojoules, give or take, or 0 0.0427 megajoules. All right, how many times? You know, I'm going to stop there. That's a nice example. It's a nice stopping place, and we'll get a full 15 minutes for the next video. Okay? Be back in a bit.